Stakeholders at the local, state, and federal levels agree that a child's future academic success is dependent on being ready to learn and participate in a successful kindergarten experience. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now is the Chief Executive Officer of Starfish Family Services, Ann Kalis. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me, Laurel. I know so many parents who say, oh, my child never went to preschool. My kid didn't go to daycare that had any academics associated to it, and they did just fine in kindergarten. But that is really not what you see happening. It's, it is important that folks have some sort of early intervention education before entering kindergarten. I think that's right, Laurel, and um, really the, the impetus for the work that we are undertaking at Starfish is that uh, when we look across our state, across different communities, um, high-risk communities like Detroit, like Inkster, where Starfish is based, um, we see that um, upwards of two-thirds of children in our state in those high vulnerable communities uh, are at risk for um, beginning school, beginning kindergarten uh, in a way that is not well developed that puts them at risk for school failure and, and for another a, a lot of other longer term issues. So it, it's really an issue in communities where um, there are not the resources that uh, and the developmental experiences, literacy rich environments where um, intervention is going to be all the more important. So if kids are behind by the time they reach kindergarten, it doesn't sound like it's real easy to catch up. There's so much that can only be done in that zero to five time frame. Right, well, um, when we look at how children develop, 90% of the human brain is wired and formed by the age of five, by the time kids are getting to kindergarten. And so there, if, if children are not exposed to language and literacy and opportunities for exercise and motor skill development and good nutrition, there are huge gaps in development that we can see by, the, and we do see by the age of five without the interventions of quality preschool uh, as an example. And there are a slew of preschools that uh, parents, caregivers can choose from if they're looking for one, both private and public, but what makes you guys different, you're a public preschool uh, uh, associated with the Head Start program, mm -hmm. but you work very closely with parents, caregivers, not just with the child. Right. Um, Starfish uh, has uh, an array of services for uh, low-income families in Wayne County from Detroit out to the western side of the county. And we offer two kinds of public uh, preschool programs, both through Head Start, which is a federal program for lower-income families, and also um, the state four-year-old program that Michigan offers called the Great Start Readiness Program. And so we are a provider of both of those for eligible families. And I think what differentiates us at Starfish is the quality of our programs, the investments in our teachers. Um, it, it, it all happens at the teacher level. So we offer our teachers great professional development to ensure they're using the curriculum. We use data to look at the, the quality of our classrooms and our teaching instruction and how we improve that. And then um, beyond that, we're engaging parents. They have their own needs. Um, Head Start is a two generational program that not only serves children, but works with family families so that parents are effective in their role and that they can achieve their own goals if it has to do with housing or employment or their own education. All right, wonderful, wonderful program. Some exciting things going on specifically in Detroit we could talk all day about, but it's a good time to be a four-year-old in, uh, in Southeast Michigan with programs like these. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. For more information on today's topic, you can visit starfishonline.org. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Ann Kalis, the Chief Executive Officer of Starfish Family Services.